what's up guys today we're out here uh at taylorsville lake fishing this uh fishing for autism tournament there's a kayak and bank division and a uh, boat division and uh i can't remember the percentage so much of the proceeds goes to autism awareness and uh, i actually started report recording earlier on my gopro and lost the footage but I hit record it just didn't record i've got three fish so far i'm uh i'm dragging with these two rods and then i've got these two rods up here in the front with planer boards and i've got baits suspended under them in 6.6 .6 foot of water right now uh, i've got three fish so far all of them's been on this one dragon rod i've got small baits on this side of the kayak and big baits on this side uh shad and bluegill is the baits of choice uh all three of my fish I've got so far is small, so y'all didn't miss nothing on seeing them get reeled in, but that's what it's gonna be today. I feel like for everybody in this tournament, anybody out here catfishing today, we're two weeks, three weeks into the spawn. So you might get lucky and find one coming off, coming off a of spawn, but it's gonna be undersized fish that ain't big enough to spawn yet, in my opinion. But it's a five fish limit for us and i've got three of them so far i think the biggest one's like 20 and a half inches which is average uh there's one biting on my planer board now they're just dinks they're aggravating to pull these planer boards when you're fishing for these small fish they keep unclipping the lines and not hooking up but if any of y'all's got a better idea on clips than what comes on normal clips, let me know than the Scotty clips or whatever they are. And uh, let me know in the comments if you know any kind of better clips. I've seen the ones Dieter uses that lock, but I feel like that locking mechanism would be a real bad thing to deal with with a fish on trying to do it on a kayak because you can't get to the board to unclip it manually. But. We'll check back in with you guys here in a little bit when I get another fish or if I don't catch nothing the rest of the day, I'll see you at uh, four o'clock for the weigh-in. I'll go ahead and film it, put it on this video too. All right, guys, I got doubled up just now. That's uh, five and six, fish five and fish six. And I got another one on. I haven't even got them two measured yet. This one's a little one too, but... There's number three. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Getting them dragging and pulling the suspended planer boards. But I'm going to get this one unhooked and get these measured and get them turned back so they ain't out of the water very long. I'll be back with you guys here in just a minute. Right, guys, here goes the first one going back. It was 20 inches. Well, there goes the second one going back. I didn't need to measure that one anyway, but I was going to. That one's 17. I don't think it'll help me any either, but... And there's the third one going back. I think I'm gonna pull back through there again. Try that one again, try that spot again. Maybe there's a bigger one hanging out in there. Yeah, I don't see Ronnie, he's fixing to come through there, right where I got them. He got one on now. Looks like he's got a small one. But I'll, uh, I'll check back in here in a few minutes. That at least gives me my five fish limit for the tournament but 
Now I can start working on bigger fish. They're all small. The biggest one's like 20 and a half or 21 and a half. But I'll check back in. All right, guys, I'm giving it up. It's like 2.30, 2.45. The tournament lasts till 3.30. We gotta be back at the ramp at four for weigh-in. I am in pleasure boat hell out here. I've almost been ran over, I don't know how many times. People just go between me and the bank. I'll have 15, 20, 30 yards between me and the bank and they'll go between there and almost hit my planter boards. I've got uh, somewhere between 12 and 14 fish. The biggest one's like 20 and a half inches or something. It's complete dink fest, just like I figured it would be. I'm gonna drag up to this point right here in the shallow water where the boats shouldn't be, and I'm going in. They, I ain't worried about this last hour. If they beat me, they can have it. It ain't worth getting out here and getting killed over. And the longer I'm out here, the worse they get, so. I'm gonna go and get into the ramp, get loaded up before all the boats and stuff get back in from the big boat side of this tournament. Get my kayak loaded and be ready to go. Get my fish figured up, see what my total inches is. And uh, I'll be back for the weigh-in. Guys, I was gonna film the weigh-in and it just all happened so fast that I didn't get a chance to. Um, in the kayak division, it was, uh, I had second, and then Shane Phillips, I believe was the boy's name that won. Uh, if I said that wrong, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, it was hot. I am sunburned beyond crispy. We all had a great time. Uh, I won a couple things in the raffle, but it was a good tournament money went to a good cause we uh it was for fishing for autism i think we raised i think he said he raised three hundred dollars for them today which uh, for this small of a tournament and this time of year that's that's really good but i'll uh try to get this video up in the next couple of days and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one